Hello, Soto Seconds. Uh, here we are with another great little practice uh, session for um, Adagio Cantabile. Today we're going to hit the upbeat to bar 17 and go through bar 28. And but at the end, we'll play it through a few times to make sure that we have that. But of course, you know me, we're gonna hit a spot to start. And uh, you know my favorite, we're definitely gonna hit bar 41 again. But um, we're gonna start a little bit with, you know, I'm really focused on the bow for you guys. I think that, that it's so key, right? And one of the things that we do with the bow is we wanna be able to have the control to retake the bow and put it down wherever we want to, okay? So we're gonna work on that a little bit today with some scales, but. To start, remember, we, we start with the loosened bow and we just tighten it up so it's still nice and curved. And first thing we'll do is play those long bows, four on each string. Let's go, starting on the G. that it's important. Remember at the beginning I talked, we did a little bit of the windshield wiper and we waved goodbye and stuff and we did some climby stuff on the bow. Well, that is all to prepare us to do the work on the string, the retake. So if you can join me, we're just gonna be at the frog, okay? We're gonna play a little, just an open string. And notice I make a circle and I put my bow back on the string. You never really want, well, occasionally, but not often do we start from above the string. We usually start from the string. So make the retake, put it back on the string, and play. See my circle I'm making? Now, if you have like locked out fingers and stuff, it makes it very hard to do that. We're gonna get a crunch. We need everything curved, because it gives you like a, I don't know, like you're a, a little cushion, a little, shock absorber. Okay, so we're gonna start today with a one octave scale, third position, so we just practice, right? Third finger, replace at the side, my wrist is up, my whole arm moves. Okay, we're gonna play a G major scale with that retake just at the frog. I'll show you and then we'll do it together. Okay, got it. Remember, this is our finger pattern in third position. First finger's there. Retake. Retake. Now back down. in a circle. Good. Now we're going to do it a little more advanced. We're going to take a long bow all the way to the tip and lift and place it back at the frog. I'll show you. Okay. Join me. Three, four. Retake. The bigger the bow, the bigger the circle. the string before I draw it. Back down. Big circle. Nice. So, um, the reason why I bring this up, strangely enough, is this happens in the piece. It happens just right at bar 16 going into 17, what we're doing today. I'm gonna to play it for you a little bit. So here's the end, this is bar 16. If you can find that on your parts, an A, so. Retake. 
retake. So I retake during that eighth note rest. Let me show you again. Long and slow. Retake. Now granted, that first B that I play is on an up bow. So you, but we still want to be in the lower half. Watch me again. Here I am on the string and I go up. We want to do that or else we punch that up the eighth note too much, okay? Let's try it together with the retake and starting again up bow. We'll only play a couple bars. Here we go. Bar 16 together. Retake. you remember? Let's do it again. This is important. Transitions are good to hit too. We've been hitting spots and sections, but it's good to be able to get into the sections. This is a transition bar. Retake. One more time together. Slap, bow, lift. Good. Let's head our next spot today. This will be kind of a famous place for us, the chromatic work in bar 24. But I want to start on the upbeat to 24, note by note, starting on the A, all right? I'll play it once, then you play it. Notice all separate bows. the slur okay so it starts up though this is below tempo a little bit together again back to the low one is always a challenge. Just try to keep your finger on its tip when you slide it back. Let me see if I can show you. See, here I am on a normal first finger. And then for the low one, it's just like this. Sometimes we want to like smush it down or do something weird. Nothing changes except the finger. All it does is become more curved and more on its tip. Play around with that a little bit. You got it. Let's try it the whole thing at tempo, our spot. Upbeat to bar 24. That's it, excellent. Okay, and of course my favorite spot to hit, <laughs> bar 41. We've already done the third position situation. So let's go ahead and just start right on it. So I'm gonna find my first finger on the G, replace my third finger G with my first finger, third finger with first finger, and then drop my second finger down, and then one comes in close. I'm gonna go note by note here, starting on the A. Here it is. Here's the A, I'll do it once then you do it. Here's second finger A in third position. Okay, so how in the world are we gonna find that, right? We remember, we do the shift, but remember when you're practicing home at home, you can always test that A with your open A, and then you always know if it's in tune or not. It's always nice when you have that. Let's try it, slur three. I'll play it, then you play it. Join me. That's it. Let's try it with a little bit of a rhythm. Listen once. One more time. 
with me. the last one of every three. Listen once. Four, three, two. Low one. With me. That's it. Let's put it together. As written, slur three. I'll play it, then you play it. Here we go, slur six. You got this. Ready? You guys are gonna smoke this part. It's the trickiest part in the whole piece and we have hit it so many times, you guys are gonna kill it. So here's, find it one more time. Third finger, replace it, drop two. Let's test it. There it is. One, two, three, one, two, three. There it is. Okay, so let's practice our new our new section today. This will be the upbeat to bar 17 through bar 28. Now remember this, a lot of slow sustained bows. Remember, if you want it louder, you move your bow slower and heavier, okay? So we have some things with that. And then if we want it, our stuff's not that important, play it nice and light, fast bow, okay? That's light and fast heavy and slow. Okay. Um, let's start bar 16 so that we can practice that retake that we worked on today. Okay. Here's bar 16. Three, four. Lift up. Slow bow. That little lick that we practiced today in bar 24 is super important. So we want to phrase it. It says set soft, get louder, and come soft. It's immediately a little bit more than we normally would play something like that because it's really the most interesting thing going on. Okay, so one more time, we're gonna do the same spot starting in bar 16. Three, four. That's all. Okay, so I want to talk about the care of your instrument after you finish, right? We want to talk about, we've talked about tightening the bow. Strangely, we haven't talked a lot about loosening it. So every time when you finish playing, always loosen your bow. Seriously, that even if you have a bow made of plastic or composite material, it can still get warped. So you will always want to make sure it's loosened. Don't loosen the strings. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you know that. Anyway, wipe it down with your nice um, cotton cloth. You know, if you have an old t-shirt, you can always cut one up. I use a bandana, but whatever you use, make sure you wipe it down and um, put it away. Um, I know the hardest thing to do about um, practicing is getting it out of the 
case, but imagine how much nicer it is to get out a nice clean fiddle. Anyway, have a great night. Thank you.